What made Stonewall different from other riots was A, that the disturbances continued. People weren't gonna take it anymore. It was something in the air, you might say. The temper of the times, people demonstrating and rioting against the oppression by the police and by the government. And they weren't going to just go home and be quiet afterwards. The other thing that made a difference was that we formed an organization afterwards. We didn't just let it go. We gave ourselves a name, which was the Gay Liberation Front. People say that I made that name up, and I swear to God, I do not remember using those words, but everybody says I did. I was drinking beer. It was a hot afternoon. I do remember was slamming my hand on the table. We were sitting around a table, yelling, that's it, that's it, we're the Gay Liberation Front. And then realizing that I had cut myself on the pop top that was sitting there, and my hand was bleeding. We were the radicals within the gay movement. It was a very loose organization, and we did eventually break up. We split off into these little factions, and that was not, in my opinion, a really good thing. Because we are all human, people are going to squabble over power, and people are gonna have their personality problems. And this is really, really hard when you're young, because everything seems so very important at that time. The other th problem that happens when you're young and when you're part of an oppressed group is you've got a lot of stored up anger. And that comes out, and instead of you channeling that anger to fight the oppressors, people are very easily seduced into fighting with each other because who's closest? That's a very normal thing to do, but it's something that has to be resisted as much as possible because it's so destructive. Mm -hmm.